Okay, Vera, why don't you tell them what we're going to do today? Today we're going to change an ignition lock on a 69 Beetle with no key or release hole. Perfect. So, as you can see, we got our, what turns out to be a 69 standard Beetle to the house. My buddy has stolen his pop-out windows and replaced them with me with standard windows that I got to put in, uh, put in still. So, what we got to do <laughs> is uh, get it inside and then we'll get working on it. Now, before we move this, I had to switch out a bunch of the tires and crack all the brake drums loose. Hi, yes, hi, Vera. <laughs> and uh, get all that so it could roll. And then the other problem we had is since this was bought out of a junkyard over in Niagara Falls, uh, we had no key. And the steering was locked all the way to the left. Since it's a later Beetle, it has a steering lock. So I had to figure out a way to change that so that we could steer. Now, you see a lot of videos online about how to change the lock. Uh, it's basically take off the horn button, take off the wheel, take off the turn signal switch. And then a lot of times there's a release hole here on these older ignitions that you're yes hi vera <laughs> that you're able to push to pop this out now i had the unfortunate surprise of pulling everything apart ready to load this on the trailer after changing the ignition and there was no hole there <laughs> so the trick that i was able to figure out is i had the new lock cylinder so i could see on there where the release tab was so what i did is i took these couple bolts out of the bottom of the steering column down here at which point you can drop the column and rotate it. Then I was able to compare the new ignition lock to the old ignition lock. And if you look way in there, you can see I took a little tiny drill bit and just kind of guessed and drilled a hole in there. Uh, and I was able to push that and release the lock cylinder without the key. Because, you know, you can only take the whole piece apart with the key. Uh, and then slide this new guy in there, lock it, and when you bolt the column up, you can't even really tell I did anything. Okay. And uh, we were good to go. And now everything works. We were able to straighten out the wheel and, uh, and uh, move the car. So there's the first little project on this is done. So I didn't really see any easy videos on how to do that in case you didn't have a release hole that didn't involve removing the whole ignition switch. So I thought I would put this up. So thanks for watching. We'll put some more videos up about this car soon once we get it inside and in the heat. And Vera will be here to say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye, Vera.